been the worst vlogger this week ever. I need to give myself some water. I'm so thirsty. Um, I have been the worst at picking up the camera this week. Um, I've just been kind of all over the place, kind of ever trying to get my thoughts together per usual. Um, but today is Tuesday and I had an interview for a primary care office that also does aesthetics, um, which is super cool. I like love that idea. Um, and they do like IV therapy and stuff. And I just think that's the coolest thing ever. Like so fun. Um, so I had an interview there today and I wore these scrubs. These are so cute. I've worked with, um, Dolan scrubs twice now on TikTok, but they're not paying me to say this on Instagram or whatever this is, YouTube. <laughs> but I like really love these shows. They're so cute. I don't know if you guys can see like all of it, but so cute and so comfy. They wear a small in both. And if you do like or if are interested in getting them, I have a discount code that I'll put just in case, but no pressure. Anyway, I went to Trader Joe's this afternoon. I'm gonna unpack Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a bit more studying. I started boards prep this week. I'm doing the comprehensive review from Sarah Michelle, um, which has been really good so far, but I really have not like made it that far. I have not been hitting my four hour day goal because of like interviewing and stuff. So it's cool. We're gonna make some dinner tonight. We're gonna have a little cozy night in. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you guys are here. We're making dinner, watching some new girl having ourselves a night, snacking on chips and salsa, my favorite snack ever. Good morning, you guys. It's coffee time. sweet baby <laughs> he wants a treat good morning camper hi papa how are you i'm actually oh, gonna sit down and um answer this question that somebody asked me in a tiktok about my bedside nursing career i'm just gonna do like a little video on that i don't usually do videos like right in the morning when i wake up but because i don't like to be on my phone too much but sometimes i do i don't know like there's no reason as to why i'm doing it right now i just wanted to answer about it and sometimes it's nice for me to just like get a video up and not worry about it because i like to post at least once a day so i know it sounds stupid but just to like do it and when i'm trying to film something these two decide it's time to play What are you doing? We're making a smoothie for breakfast. That's my fridge telling me the door is open. Um, almond milk, spinach, and then I always do a little bit of some berries. Just all that, and then half a banana because that makes it creamy. And then I do protein powder. Let me put this away first, actually. I forgot to ice roll my face this morning, so I brought my ice roller out, too. Okay. 
This is my favorite protein powder. Where's the thing? The Orgain protein. I prefer the um, the plain one, but Target sells the vanilla one, and I am like go to Target all the time, so I just pick it up from there rather than ordering it from Amazon. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, ice rolling your face is like the most addicting feeling ever. I personally don't use it to like do anything else because I don't really believe that it does, but it just feels so good. And it really helps me like wake up in the morning. That's what I really like to do it. I just love it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. I need two scoops of the protein powder and then about a tablespoon of peanut butter. And that's it. Same smoothie recipe every time. I don't, I don't deviate from that. It's very good. Highly recommend you get your greens in, you get your protein in, you get your fat in with the um, with the peanut butter. It's good. And I always do it before I go to the gym. I was gonna take Kimber for um, a walk this morning. Hoosier doesn't like walk alone. He has to be with my husband and I, so he doesn't get to walk with just camper and I because my husband's at school but the um, UV index was 99 this morning at like 9 30 it's 10 08 now so it's like we can't go on a walk and then I use my Nutribullet I've had my Nutribullet since college got it for like a birthday present in college and it's the best thing ever except for I'm missing the top part so I always have to put something over it I know some people put ice in their smoothies, but I just think that makes it like, I don't like the texture with that. So if you put a half a banana in, it'll make it creamy and cold the same way that ice whipped. So highly recommend that. Okay, you guys, I've literally been setting all day, but I got this Amazon package and it's from my mother-in-law and it is a ball launcher, which Camper is obsessed with playing fetch. And he's so annoying about it. So I'm going to try to teach them how to put the ball in the ball launcher. But it's not going well. I'm so excited, though, to have this. Okay. Camper, come here. Get your ball. Camper, come on. You guys can't even see me. Where'd it go? Oh, it's over here. Okay, round two. I've been watching some videos on it. They're still not quite understanding. Okay, Bubba. Where's your ball? Go get your ball. You gotta get your ball first. Joji, take the ball. Take the ball. Ball. Take the ball. Put your ball. Put camper, come here. Put the ball in your mouth. Ball. Put the ball in your mouth. Put the ball in your mouth. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Put the ball. Drop it. Good boy. Okay, this is how they said to do it. Put the ball in your mouth. You have to like force the ball in his mouth. Put the ball in your mouth. Okay, nope, put the ball in your mouth. Kipper, put the ball in your mouth. Put the ball in your mouth. Kipper, take the ball. Ball. Take the ball. Ah, Boucher, stop. Oh my God. Uh, this is not, not going well. So, Camper like figured out that he was, I mean, Hoosier figured out that Camper was getting a treat when he dropped it. And so Hoosier just picked it up and Camper's trying to get it from him so that he can get a treat. <laughs> Boys, come here. Boys, come here. Camper, bring a ball, honey. You gotta bring a ball. The aftermath of dinner is always the worst. Does anybody else like hate, 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 hate cleaning up dinner stuff? makes me crazy a lot of stuff makes me crazy but especially cleaning up the dinner food and I don't know if I should clean it up yet because Seth hasn't eaten and I don't know what he's gonna want to eat because it's kind of like a leftover night so I don't know we'll see and then I guess I could just do the dishes while he's eating maybe I'll just chill and I'm gonna say try to find something to watch, but there's nothing to watch. I could like, I talked about this last week, but I'm super struggling with like being home all the time, but I don't wanna work in the hospital. But it's really feeding my anxiety 
um, sitting with my thoughts all day because usually I'm so busy you guys know I'm like doing clinicals and just very busy but right now I'm just focused on studying for boards and then I'm working every once in a while um, in the hospital which is fine and I'm interviewing and all this stuff my camera got cut off but anyway I'm doing stuff but I'm mostly at home which I'm just I like to be at home but I'm finding that I don't like to be at home too much because it just all I do is like think about my future and worry about getting a job and have too much time to spend on my phone and social media which I think is increasing my anxiety and yeah so anyway if you are struggling with anxiety right now you are not alone because I mine is really bad right now um but yeah that's it I'm gonna try to cultivate a vibe tonight I think I'm gonna like go on Pinterest and if you guys don't follow me on Pinterest I am on Pinterest I don't I spend a decent amount of time on there and I have some really good um like fall boards and like that girl boards and things that like it's very inspiring to me so um I think it's just April fog on Pinterest, but if you guys are interested, I'm cultivating a vibe for fall because Florida, we in Florida, we do not have fall. So I just make the inside of my house look like fall and crank the air down. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. And I was watching Schitt's Creek, so maybe I'll keep watching that. Or maybe, I like watching Gossip Girl in the fall. I like watching Gossip Girl at all times, so. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have any candles. I do have some candles coming in the mail, but I don't have any right now. Got some bubbly water. So, we have a night. Hi guys. Happy Thursday. I just finished up at the gym. I did leg day, so oh, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm about to run to the vet to drop off samples <laughs> while the case oh. grows plan for today is I did um, about 50 questions Sarah Michelle questions this morning my goal is to do a hundred Sarah Michelle questions a day and I'm trying to finish her crash course this week it has taken me this will be I did it Monday Tuesday Wednesday this will be the fourth day that I'm working on her crash course and I have had like an interview I've had things that I've had to go to that have kind of messed it up a little bit but I don't think I'm going to finish it today, so I'm going to try to finish your crash course and then I need to jump into like the deep dive things because the ANCC received my transcripts today and usually, according to their website, it takes like 7 to 10 days for me to get my authorization to test after they receive my transcripts, so I'm thinking that in like not the end of next week, but the following week, I should get an email saying like, hey, you're good to go, ready to test, and I wanna schedule as soon as possible. So I need to get my butt in gear for studying. Um, but I'm really liking the Sarah Michelle review so far. She breaks it down and makes it super simple, and it's she uses things that I use, or I used to use when I was studying, like I use a lot of mnemonics, I use a lot of like, this letter is close to this letter, so these are combined. Um, and I like break down things the same way that she does, so it's been very good and I really like it. I highly recommend if you're studying for boards or like thinking, gonna study for boards soon, highly recommend Sarah Michelle. Um, but obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. I didn't know, but you only have to get a 70% on the exam to pass. And with ANCC, there's 175 questions. 25 of those questions do not count. They're like, I don't know what they're for. So you only have to get a 70%. It's basically out of 150 and I'm not worried about it. But anyway, gotta go because it's 1230 and I need to get home and study. A sandwich for lunch today. I've been very into sandwiches, but I'm all out of pickles. Oh shoot, I'm all out of pickles, and I love pickles. Actually, I do have pickles, but they're nasty, and they're ones I have to like cut up. Maybe, yeah. Maybe I should try them again. Maybe they won't be nasty on the sandwich. Maybe just like a nice crunch, you know, a crunchy gal. I got these from Trader Joe's. Thinking that they looked really good. What's the expiration date actually? Mm. I don't know about this. 
Seven, ten. Okay. That was a month ago. Tossing them. No pickles for me today. Oh, now I have to clean up this mess. We're gonna sit down and start our afternoon studying. Okay. All right, we've got on a nice little, like subtle background music, oat milk lattes in the mountain. We are studying, I take notes on like important stuff that I, that I know, but like I know is important. And I'm going over the notes and then I'm gonna start the next section, which I believe is GI. That's how I've been doing on my quizzes. So pretty good. Um, next section is GI. We're about to have a nice little thunderstorm. I've got my whiteboard with me and we are getting it done. Mm, so I did not finish the Sarah Michelle review today. That's cool. I made it through three sections. I made it through that GI section, GU, which included a lot of pregnancy and STDs and stuff, which is really important. I had a lot of that in my HESI and musculoskeletal. And out of all the body systems, musculoskeletal is my worst. Like I'm, I'm really bad at it, honestly. Um, and I don't know if that's like, cause the school didn't do, oh my. Camber, are you okay? I don't know if that's just because the, I don't think that my school did a great job with musculoskeletal. Like they definitely taught us the basics, but I'm not good with like ACL tears, meniscus tears, uh, rotator cuff tears, things like that. I'm just not good with them. Um, so I took a lot of time on that. I did, I finished my 100 questions for the day and I had to make dinner now because it's six o'clock and we're in the hospital tomorrow. So I kind of want to like have an early night, go to bed early. Oh, sorry. So, Here is the final product. I'll link the recipe that I used in the description. It is a creamy sun-dried tomato pasta, and it's honestly really good. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. I just made myself a little coffee. I actually woke up this morning with my authorization to test for ANCC. Um, they sent it to me at 3.45 in the morning. And so I automatically kind of like woke up in a panic, like, oh my God. I um, am using the Sarah Michelle review course and she recommends, there's like three parts of the review course, of the comprehensive review course. And I'm like barely through, well, I'm like, I think three fourths of the way through the first one. And I scheduled my exam for I don't know if I should say. I'm not super superstitious about those types of things. Like, I have a lot of faith in myself that I will pass the exam, but I'll say I scheduled it for the week of Labor Day. How about that? And, um, sorry, my dogs are like really needing some attention this morning because I was gone yesterday. So, anyway, I scheduled that, but I like was super. <laughs> this morning when I woke up trying to figure out the date and I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do in person or if I wanted to do remote proctoring which you can do I decided against remote proctoring because my dogs can be very you guys hear them in the backgrounds of all of my videos they can be very needy and I would put them outside for the exam but it's also really hot in Florida and I didn't want them not to be outside and so I was like, you know what? Like, let me just drive. I have to take it in four Myers actually, because all that all the other dates just like were not gonna work for me. They were too early. There were like September first dates, and I was like, oh, I just that's like a week and a half from now, and I don't feel like I'll be ready then. And I, even though I want to get it out of the way, I don't want to like take it and not pass it because I like push myself too hard. Anyway, we scheduled it. Now we really have to kick ourselves in gear because I'm taking it soon. It's like two weeks from now, or like two and a half weeks from now. Um, and 
Oh yeah, I worked in the hospital yesterday. It really wasn't that bad, like to be completely honest. It was like not that bad. I started the day with four patients and I discharged three of them. I got back three patients. So I ended the day with four, which is perfectly fine. That's like the perfect ratio for a surgical unit because it's like the constant turnover. Like I had discharged three of those patients before noon. And <clears throat> I feel like when you work on a reg regular medical floor, like that doesn't, you're not seeing that quick of a turnover. So anyway, that's what our ratio used to be. Fun fact was one to four. Now it's like one to whatever they want. But anyway, I'm gonna end this vlog off here because I've been rambling and I need to start editing it. But thank you guys so much for watching it. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.